and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh and in this tutorial I'll go through how to set up vector displacement maps in Arnold to create a shader that we'll use on our low res bread and we'll make some lights just to test the displacement. So I have my Maya scene open that we used from the previous tutorials. You should have your plane in here with your keys on. This plane is really important. Uh, we've got our scan mesh and our low res mesh geos that we've been working with. So we can hide this one because we don't actually need this one. Um, if we can control G and group them and we can just call this old mesh, we don't really want to use this. So our first thing that we want to do is import in our exported geometry from ZBrush. So if we go file, import, and if we go to our location, exported it out and texture and you should have your OBJ and your low res mesh VD 496 if we select import we can now we now see if we've got our mesh um, so the first thing that we want to do is we can just get rid of this name special namespace on this so if we go to win select our mesh Go to Windows, General Editors, go to Namespace Editor, and we can just select all these, preferably muddy blue. So we can get rid of this. And we can rename this to our SD Space Mesh. So that is our final geo that we use for rendering. So we need to set up some things in the actual geometry and the shape. So if you select your bread, we'll go to the geo shape, and it should look like this. So go to Arnold, and you want to scroll down so you meet subdivision. See subdivision, I'm not going to meet it, but anyway. But, uh, um, so yeah, we'll go to subdivision, select type, we'll go to cat plot. And we'll change it. We need to change our iterations to the same amount of subdivision levels in ZBrush. So our maximum subdiv level was five. So we need to make sure we match that. And if we go to UV smoothing, we need to make sure that we go to linear. And then we turn on auto bump. So we need to change also our bounds padding on here. Um, but I think we'll do that on our image actually, not here. So that's pretty much set up. So if we go to our shader, and we can go to Arnold, and we'll select AI standard surface, and it should come in the middle. So I don't know why tool things go on at the side, but whatever. So on our AI standard surface, we'll just select here. And we can see on the right what we need. There's usually a bar here, a uh, window here, but I don't know where it's gone. So we'll just turn our specular all the way off for now. And we want to bring in our vector displacement. So if we press tab, type in file, we should get file texture. We can just organize this in a way that doesn't get in the way. We don't, we can uh, bring it a bit, hide that there. So So we've got to place our 2D texture here and our file 3. So what we want to do before we bring in our image, we want to make sure that we change our filter type to off. We don't want any filtering on it. Change our UV tiling mode to UDIN. And our color space to raw. This should this usually changes when you import in a file like that, but just if you change it to raw anyway, it doesn't matter. And it's really important that we go to Arnold and turn off auto generate TX textures. So this will convert it to a linear color space. We do not want that. This will basically break all your uh, displacement. So make sure that's off because we don't want any color management on our displacement. So then if we click our folder, and we go to our, where we exported. Texture. We should have our SD low res mesh 
and it should look like this. It should be predominantly green. Um, and your file name should look like this. It should be dot one zero zero one dot exr. If there's no if there's no dot in there, you'll have to just go in there and uh, edit the file name. But it, that, that's how it will be read as a UDIM. So if we select open, that's loaded in. It's found one tile and it's the same as color space as raw, so we don't have to change anything like that. So now if we go to tab, press displacement, I'll type in displacement, sorry. And we want our displacement shader here. We can get rid of this because we've already got one here. And we can connect our out color to vector displacement. Then we want to go to our displacement shader. And we need to make sure we change our vector space to tangent. And we can go to Arnold Auto Bump. We can change our bounds padding to 10. So we'll select our AI standard surface here. We'll go to our shading group. So we'll select that. And if you hold shift and left click, or middle mouse click, sorry. So shift, middle mouse click. Then just drop it on the name where it says displacement material. And that's connected. So we should be pretty much set up now. We can minimize this. Uh, we need to bring in the light. So what I'll do, I'll just go to Arnold Lights. Uh, create a sky dome light. And if I go to color, so file, and select on a little file name. And I'll give this to you as well. I'll put this in um, on uh, the gum road. I don't think it's there at the moment, but uh, I'll put a link for it so you can just have it for free. Um, HDRI, photogrammetry, HDRI, and it's just the HDRI from the previous project. And it's got a graded sun in there, so it shouldn't need any more lights. Cool. So we've got that in. So you also, because this is a HDRI, and it's actually, I believe they're, they're all in linear color space. You need to make sure you turn that off, uh, auto generate TX off as well in the Arnold, because then you will double linearize it and it will start looking washed out a bit, a bit gross. So we should be pretty much done now. We'll also turn off your filtering. You don't have to, but, um, but yeah, I always usually turn it off. But, um, yeah, so let's go to Arnold. So let's go up to Arnold, open Arnold render view, and go to render and update full scene. And it will say here converting zero textures to TX. That's fine. It's just going through the color management uh, settings that has been put on the, that's been applied, but it should be at zero. You don't want any of these textures being converted to TX. It might take a while the first time around. And we can sort of see we've got some displacement on here. Let's actually uh, let's stop that. Uh, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna select my dome light. I'm gonna turn off. Let's set camera to zero so it doesn't render in the background. And I'm just gonna change my samples to three for now. So if I press play, that's now gonna. It's a little bit easier to see when it's like that. It's nice to have the background in, but it can be a bit distracting. So we can rotate around and we can see that our displacement is now working really well. It's picking up on all the details. We can rotate around, so we can also rotate the... Just pull this up just a tad on one screen. We can Rotate the HDRI around. And we can see all the details being picked up there with the vector displacement map. And we 
sure that's some really nice results. Because it's quite blurry, so we're probably at quite a low res, so let's go to our render settings. Should be rendering using Arnold. Yours might be on that. I set my camera AA to full just for now. Well, it might be on 540, but I'll put mine on 1080. So you can see that it's picked up all the detail that we got on our low res mesh now. So for our vector displacement, we're pretty much done. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.